Before we get started, you know I have to get something off my chest. Uh huh. Well, what the heck is this? What? Look at this. Your new cougar love, you and Oprah. Uh, what does she you have? Know, Tell me what she has uh, that I don't have, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back. We go way back. It's, uh -huh. it's uh, hard to explain. <laughs> Okay, well, I just, you know, I, I had to get right back on the board, as you know, you've taught me, and I had to find a, a new tomato top love, so I hope you don't mind. Mm -hmm. This is my new love affair right here, and I hope you don't get too jealous. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got some qualities. He's, uh, you think I've so? met him, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, <laughs> and I, I give you the, I'm okay with it. I'm you, okay with You're it, okay you with know. that. Outstanding. It hurts, but I still am okay. Well, let me ask you, back in 2006, you know, after you won, you were talking about, you know, having Mountain Dew with all the flight attendants on the airplane. Well, you're legal now. So what did you drink after you won this time around? Uh, you know, it was, it was a funny time, so I was able to have a, a glass of champagne with the, the mom and dad. It was pretty cool. Um, you know, it's that rare occasion where it's always awkward. You have, you, you know what I mean? You have a drink with your parents. You're like, hey, okay, mom. Yeah, exactly. This <laughs> is know, a little it, strange. It was cool, you know. They, they were able to uh, have the fun with me and, and uh, run around, see a bit of the city and do dinners. And I mean, it was a blast. You know, that, that's one pretty remarkable thing. You have remained very close uh, with your parents, uh, and you've talked mm -hmm. about them ever since you were a teenager. Um, how, how has that developed, and have they been right there by your side saying, okay, Sean, we want... I, I guess maybe I should ask you this. Are they the ones that are keeping you level-headed because you've been doing a really good job staying out of trouble for, for all this fame and fortune? Yeah, I mean, I figured at some point if I was going to let this all get to my head, it would have happened already after the first medal. So <laughs> I think uh, this is the way I'm going to be for a while. But, yeah, I mean, they're really the ones that, uh, yeah, I come home and they, they keep me grounded. They're all about just, um, you know, having family dinner and doing the, the regular thing. And, and that's why it's so important to have them at that event. It's um, so amazing to, to land and, and ride up to them right at the bottom and get the hugs and the high fives mm. and, and – Everybody from my family that didn't get to go to Torino were, you know, they all basically stormed Vancouver. So it was, uh, uh, it was the crowd party. that was at Torino, but triple. I mean, it was so many people. <laughs> and, and I'm curious, the last time we talked, uh, you know, it's been a number of years. There's been a lot of development, shall yeah. we say, not only professionally, but personally. How do you think you've changed not only as an athlete, uh, but a man? Um... <clears throat> Well, I mean, 23 years to grow this, so I'm kind of flaunting it now. Uh, no, it's, it's one of those things where I, I don't He's know. He's got chest I, I hair, boys. He's got it. chest hair now. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's one of those things where I, uh, I definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm taller, I'm, I'm stronger. I mean, this was uh, an amazing uh, year for me just because of that. I mean, I, I approach every situation differently, and I, I don't know, I, I definitely – feel like I grew into my own skin in a way. I, I, I um, am able to meet fans and really enjoy myself nowadays instead of before where everything was such a blur because it was new to me. I'm now um, feeling like I, I can really uh, be myself in, in situations. Well, that's one of the best things is you've always been yourself. And I love all these moves you've yeah. created, the tomahawk, the double McTwist 1260. What does that mean, by yeah, the way? Double Mc you. Yeah, du double McTwist 1260. <laughs> No one knows. Um, <laughs> it just no, sounds it's, really it's, cool. It's, <laughs> it just sounded awesome. Now, it, it uh, basically uh, is a trick. 1260 is just referring to uh, degrees of rotation. So if uh, a 360 is a full circle, you just basically add that up to 1260. So it's about uh, three and a half rotations. I'm pretty oh sure. My God. <laughs> but, um, you know, and, and, and while doing that spinning, I'm adding two flips into my uh, into my spin there, so it's it's two flips wall spinning, and, and Mick Twist is referring to that I take off front flip and then go back flip for the second flip. So it's it's well, pretty involved. That's why we just called it the tomahawk. And we the, well, <laughs> it's a bit of a throw. Well, no, it, it works well if you think about the tomahawk missile, and that's what created the whole uh, Iraqi war. But Sean, uh, it, it's always uh -oh. so good to talk to you. And I don't know, maybe I can bring Tony Harris on on this. Tony, you know, I told Sean last time, uh, Tony, uh, when we talked, uh, yeah. no no booze in large amounts, no drugs, and no wild meat. Right, 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 yeah, right. I don't want him pulling a Tiger Woods. So, it, Sean, oh, are you going to stick to that? <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not married. I'm not married. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to behave yourself for us, right, Sean? We have high expectations. Oh, of course, of course. My mom's watching this. I mean. There you, there you go. go. All right. Got to keep it smooth.